the bench 2024 edition at the bench what what episode <laughs> what happened in one year it's been it's this is like episode 15 i have no idea anymore <laughs> maybe we 16 probably, we should probably know that but anyway well, how you been man i'm all right i'm all right i'm, I'm better than all right yeah yeah a lot going yeah. on so yeah so you, you had a busy year I've had 2023. We got to catch up. That's what today is for. Catch today up. is catching up. Catching up a lot. Answer. Went through a lot. Um, uh, a lot of things that aren't aren't worth uh, going down the road. But uh, I'm 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 stronger and uh, mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm I'm a little more focused and uh, I'm I'm in the enviable position that I cannot take on any more repair work. Mm -hmm. because i have too much work to do i cannot take on any more builds because i have too many guitars to build mm -hmm. um so uh it's a great place to be you know that 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 we ever that, there before this is working you know after uh you know my divorce selling the store all that stuff starting mm -hmm. a whole new life um this new life is working out pretty darn well that's good that is wonderful seriously it's like yeah. Phoenix rising, man. Phoenix rising. Phoenix rising. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, <laughs> a lot, a lot, lot of stuff, a uh, lot of stuff going on. Um, major thing um, since we last spoke is uh, I now have hearing aids. And, yes. Um, for years I had struggled um, all the time. My daughters were growing up. I'd have to ask them, you know, what'd you say, honey? And, uh just at the store i had to when i owned the, the retail business if it got noisy in the background i couldn't hear so i got really good at reading lips um but for the last several years it it got a lot worse um and i'm you know i've been playing on loud stages my whole life um right. riding motorcycles right uh, shooting guns uh nothing. although i do wear protection when i shoot nothing guns. nothing quiet don't you love like on TV shows the detective goes bang bang bang. So what do you think? Did we get him? It's like that doesn't happen. Right right you right. Know? Bang bang bang. So what do you think? Did we get? That's the way it goes down. Anyway, so I was talking to my buddy Ron, drummer from the Badleys, and uh, he and I used to do a lot of session work together. And he was telling me that there was a the Department of OVR for the state of Pennsylvania, and uh, he proved to them that that he needed his hearing and they helped him with the bill so i contacted the department of ovr and they said yes you know we'll we'll give you some help so i did a little research uh amongst my clients and uh that guy that plays in that band toto and uh, that guy that plays in that band aerosmith and whatever they all recommended a company called resound r-e-s-o-u-n-d uh, hearing aids. And so I found a resound retailer, uh, uh, Central PA Hearing Aid Solutions on the Carlisle Pike, uh, across from Pet Boys, beside Wendy's. And uh, um, to be uh, exact. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> we're talking to musicians here. So right, right, right. you got to get your, 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 your uh, uh, points of reference there. Right. You know? Everybody knows where the Wendy's right, is. Right. So, you know, it's like, um, and, uh, so I went in there and they, they gave me a hearing test and, uh, I don't know, like last year I had a situation where my left ear, my right ear has always been bad, but my left ear just stopped one day. I was sitting on the couch. That's what you said. Yeah. Yeah. I was sitting on the couch with my dog and watching TV and it, suddenly it was like somebody put a finger in and I went to a, uh, uh ear, nose and throat that I will not refer and uh they checked me out and then they did this thing where they they pierced my eardrum and injected prednisone into the ear canal for three weeks yeah and uh that was unpleasant uh and um um it it made no difference but it did drain my bank account significantly mm -hmm. and uh when all that was done i i, I was no better off there was no that deaf and broke and yeah, and they they said, well, you know, that didn't work. And I'm like, yeah, you got paid. I wasted a shit ton of time and uh, I'm no better off. Thank you so much. Um, 
so I, I bit the bullet and I, I got the hearing aids and um, it's been almost a year now. And man, what a difference. Oh my God. I can hear all these great little acoustic guitars I have. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 my, it got to the point where I couldn't tune an electric guitar unplugged. Um, I couldn't tune it. I couldn't hear it. Um, okay. And plugged in the, the it, it was kind of difficult. And I know I annoyed everybody in my life because I was asking people to repeat stuff and everything. If I wasn't looking at you, I didn't hear you. That, that's and, me now. Huh? That's me now. Huh? Huh? <laughs> and uh, so. Amber's not, Amber, Amber's not laughing though. <laughs> ah, we need a laugh track. So here's a urine aid. Um, I have two of them. And this thing goes behind your your uh, ear and it's got this little button that changes the sensitivity or yeah. turns it on or off. And um, so it just goes in there and they said, Mr. Platzer, what color do you want? I said, I don't give a shit. So I got gray because it matches where my hair is going. Yeah. Um, and then it has this really cool thing. It's It's got this app and I can control the volume of it. And you can adjust it like a stereo. Yeah. And, and uh, it has front focus so now it it just the microphone's aimed forward so if i'm in a restaurant with sarah and i want to hear what she has to say that helps and also i can stream music um the fidelity is not fantastic but it is kind of cool like if i'm mowing a lawn or something like that i just stream music and uh um so it has made a huge difference though um i'm i'm more effective at work I now know just exactly how loud a lot of my machines are um, when I'm routing, um, you know, a lot of the, the sanding and this, that, whatever drilling. Um, some of these machines are very, very loud. Do you ever get, do you get, do you ever, is it too late to get the earphones like the, the, the gunshot earphones? Oh no, I have some of those I, for when I'm shooting. Yeah, I have those. Yeah. You don't use those when you're using a router though. No, down here, I just turn my hearing aids off. <laughs> so. And, just go about life, man. You know, because I, I have I have like I, I teach drums in my basement. And when you have two drummers going at it, plus the oh. music in the background that has to be over top of the two drums. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Hands, you two, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the the ones I have. I solved that. I, I can't I can't hear I can't hear voices when I when I when I put them on. They're right. good. And they were like $13. So protect your ears, people. Protect oh, absolutely. your ears. I mean, I, the point of all this really is for everybody out there, don't end up like me. Um, and me. Yeah. Don't end, don't end up like us. Old. Yeah. And Because uh, we're old. And uh, But, I, I yeah, I, I, I could have taken steps. But when I was younger, playing through, you know, three Marshall heads and six cabinets on stage, that was cool. It was. You know? Getting right up to the drums. And they crash into cymbals right in your face. And it's like, this is cool, man. I'm feeling it, man. And now I'm going, oh, for God's sake. Um, I, ironically enough, now I wear earplugs when I ride the Harleys uh, because I'm now just aware of how loud the, the wind noise is. Okay. Uh, now, I just got these have these little fittings on there. These They're, they're little silicone mushroom fittings. Uh, and what they do is they go in and they they locate the uh, the hearing aperture or whatever the hell that thing is, and they and but they don't block out the outside. I went in and got um, um, molds taken, and uh, I'm going to try using molds with these so that when they're turned off, I don't hear anything. Because um, with my in ears, when you play bigger shows, there's no monitors anymore; it's all in ears, and uh, my in ears that I got from Ultimate Ears, um, there's a plug. Um, you know, they do a digital scan of the inside of your ear, and then the things fit perfectly. And when you put them in, uh, it sounds amazing. And so I'm kind of hoping that you know, with Resound, they'll the molds that I got the stream. Well, well, okay, so what what kind of expense are we expecting to? I, well, it's not cheap. Um, okay. you see ads for hearing aids that are about a grand. Don't don't waste your damn time. Okay. Um, I literally looked at everything um, and I tried a couple things and um, you know, it's kind of like you can get away with a crappy guitar, but you really need a good guitar. You need a good amp. 
you need a good laptop and you need good hearing aids. And because uh, like these resounds, they actually run something in the background to counteract my tinnitus too. Okay. So that's amazing. Um, uh, they were forty five hundred bucks. Um, which is which is if you get hearing back, you're hearing. Oh, it was a bargain. And yeah. now the state is uh, is uh, going to take care of a very large amount of that. Um, I don't know exactly, but uh, I know with other people, it's been up to two thirds. The state will take care of because it's something you need to yeah. uh, hear. With. And it's kind of nice that, you know, our tax dollars actually turn around and come back at us. So, so, uh, so plug, plug your he earphone or uh, plug them again. What is the name of it? It's uh, the resound R E O U N D resound. Okay. And I get central PA hearing aid solutions on the Carlisle Pike. Yes. Mechanicsburg, which is right next to Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only, it's the only fast food place I will eat. <laughs> Me too. And you know, it, it seems to be that when I have to go in and get a checkup, I always end up with a chocolate frosty. I don't know how that is. Yeah. So we, last time I was at, uh, it was Savannah, Georgia, near Savannah, Georgia, and they were so nice down there. And then we left the place, and Amber goes, "You know, they're trying to rip you off, right?" <laughs> it's Georgia, no, wonderful. They man. really like my beard. <laughs> a, but anyway, <laughs> yes, it's a, people, my beard. Gets people are so shorter, nice right? down here. So, ah, uh, so we got we got new clients. Do we have new clients this year? Do we? Um, actually, uh, yeah, with builds, yes. Um, okay. um, actually, I'm 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 uh, building a guitar for Phil right now, Phil X, mm -hmm. and uh, we just uh, Phil and I were just hanging out at the Nam show, and uh, so for those who don't know, and I and I most of people, I don't know if most people are age, you know, Phil X is like rock and roll savior. Like, yeah, he well, plays yeah, in Bon Jovi, but what I like is his like the the drills and the um, you know what I mean. I like I like his. Well, he just, I, you know, Phil. Okay, I've known Phil for years. Yeah, and I met him actually at the, the Nam show. Uh, for those that don't know, Nam is North American Music Merchants. It's a big trade show, and when I had the guitar shop, I used to go every year and order the year's worth of stuff, and you you run around and hang out with people and. Uh, Phil is a little bit nuts and we shared that and uh, we just, we became friends and actually um, Phil has a Gibson SG uh, that was built for him. Let me call up photographs as I'm talking. Um, he has a, an SG that was made for him and he's a, a huge fan of Edward Van Halen. Yes. And so he had this guitar made which is uh you know is Frankenstein, were, uh, Eddie but, Frank and yeah yeah and uh unfortunately uh he threw the guitar 26 times and Sammy Bones his tech caught it 25 and that's uh, a, that's a common thing right uh when you throw guitars they do break no no with SG's next next SG's Les Pauls yeah they're made yeah. out of mahogany um it's a, it's a very weak spot um, because of the route for the truss rod channel. And mm -hmm. if you exceed the design specification of the article uh, by slamming it into the ground, it will break. Um, so Phil calls me almost in tears because this guitar is so important to him. And, uh, and he sent it to me and I put it back together. And uh, so uh, this was the first time we were both in the same room since I rebuilt the guitar. And uh, and we were just running around and, and I'm introducing him to people that I know. This is Phil X, like the best guitar player alive. Right, right. And Eddie Van Halen have left. Us. Not only that, I would say for people our age, he's like an ambassador of the old. I don't know. I don't he's know. definitely old school. Yeah. And yeah. He's fun. He's, yeah. fun. he's talented and he doesn't beat you over the head with it. He apologizes <laughs> for being good. The and so I'm introducing him as that. And he's introducing to me, me to people as this is Greg. He put the Ed G back together again. And now it's better than it was. So the two of us are running around just getting into trouble. And uh, um, so I've been working on a guitar and he hasn't absolutely. Here's the deal. 
if he's if he doesn't buy it, I'm keeping it. That's this is uh oh, can I get it? So this is an insane piece. Oh, I'm getting a text because my ears just rang. Um, this is an insane piece of walnut. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm about to route the bridge pickup. That's what this is for. Um, very high tech. Uh and uh mahogany back and uh so it's going to be really really comfortable and binding this thing was a real pain in the ass and i'm doing the logo right now and blah 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 but uh this will actually give you an idea of how guitars how small guys like me do it right a plexiglass uh form yeah and it's screwed in place and then you drill a hole and then drop your router bit in and you use a bit that has a ball bearing on it let me uh show you one of those So there's the bit and you can see the ball bearing and what will happen is you'll plunge down in and the ball bearing will ride against the edge as you go around and it'll do a layer and then you drop it down a little farther and it follows what you've already done and blah, 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 until you get to the desired depth. So, um, so this is for Phil, uh, unless he says he doesn't want it and then it's for me. So but uh, I've been building all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, this one is for a guy in Nashville, a friend of mine named Chris. And this is cool because traditionally, when you see figured tops on guitars, it's maple. But this is flamed birch. And oh, my God, look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at it. See how it, you know, ugh. it's called <laughs> chatoyance. Chatoyance for anybody at home. And then this will be covered with a pick guard, which is around here somewhere. I don't know. It's around here. But um, yeah, this is Flame Birch. I get all my fancy woods from um, Kimball Hardwoods, Derek Kimball at Kimball Hardwoods. And uh, somebody else is calling me right now. Hey, Brian Seneca is calling me. Hi, so, Brian. I just showed him off. So, uh, so anyway, so I've been working with Phil. Um, uh, a couple of people I can't mention yet. Um, I might be uh, working on a, a, another guy for, uh, uh, let's just say he's in a little old band down in Texas. So there might be another uh, guitar. Another another episode in the works. <laughs> there might be a little more chopper. Maybe two in 2024. Maybe a maybe a little chopper motorcycle oil dripping into a piece of wood upstairs right now. Right. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. I, I don't want to say too much, but uh, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I, I just I've, I've kind of hit the point where um, almost all my time is spoken for um, in the shop. Uh, I need seventy hour weeks. Uh, and I'm not going to complain about that. Yeah. I've worked really hard. Um, and people say, well, you could just get a couple of people and then that would take up the slack. No, I do everything. Yeah. And you, you don't know, want to scale. A, yeah. I mean, I, I cut these bodies out. I route them. I, you know, I, I don't have a CNC in my, how, did, how, how did, how did, how did Stradivarius do it? Uh, I don't know. Gotta, I, I got to think it's the same way. They didn't, have CNC, so. they, they, they didn't have CNC machines back then. No, I don't believe they did. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Run. they weren't constantly bothered by their telephone. Right. But, but uh, I, uh, I'm, I, yeah, I'm in a good place with that, actually. Uh, yeah. I, I've kind of, I've started finding the balance I was looking for the last couple of times we spoke and, and uh, um, things are going Things are going well. I get to do some some really cool stuff. In fact, uh, I'm I'm playing another uh, another band. Oh, we got to talk about all the band stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. every um, other every other week I see a new band. Yeah, I'm building a, a guitar for my bass player, but I, you know what? I'll sh I'll show you that later. Um, yeah, I'm in a band called Groove Rebels. Yes, and Groove Rebels. Amy Simpson. Amy Simpson on vocals. Amazing, amazing vocalist. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, Michael Giblin on bass, uh, he and vocals. Uh, he has the studio, uh, Red Chuck. Red Chuck yep, yep. And uh, Flesh Tones just did a record in there this past two weeks. Okay. Um, 
and he plays with Split Squad with Clem Burke. For they're, they're wonderful. They're wonderful. Oh, yeah. And Parallax Project he has. He is. And he's just he's another one. And he's another one of it, well, he's just he's just he's a, a different, different old school. school. He's consummate musician and and a fantastic producer. Um my Christmas song, uh It's Christmas, that ended up in the Christmas movie and everything. Um, we did that in his studio. The video was shot by Michael Stipe in his studio, not the Michael Stipe from RBN REM. And uh, Which that could have been. I know he has he has a oh I have a story about him. No, yeah. no, we weren't no. That, that'll be next time, 2025. <laughs> that story will not go. Anyway, um, and then Steve Montresor from Hot Wing Jones on drums. Right. And uh fantastic drummer and the great uh Trent Pichaka on keyboards. Love uh, his love his playing. I tried to get him for Groove Jones years ago and he he never oh. returned, he never returned my call. <laughs> he, he's just so natural. And Rod who? And I I I, I I go to rehearsal and I look around the room and I go, I am the worst musician here. That's the place to be. Awesome. That's yes. That's the place to be. Absolutely. So if, we're doing if, if you're the like, best musician in the room, they're not your people. No, <laughs> I, I can't believe these people. You're, you're having to level down. Them. Huh? Yeah. I can't believe these people want me to play with them to be totally right. honest. And uh, we're doing like anything from uh, Ike and Tina, uh, small faces, a lot of early seventies stuff. Uh, we're even doing a cover of Cher's uh, Gypsies, Thieves, and Vandals. or I, don't, I can't remember what the song is, but it's a good tune. G Gypsies, uh, tramp, Tramps, and Thieves. Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves. You're right. Gypsies, Tramps, tramps and Thieves. thieves. So, uh, yeah, it's a cool song with this weird turnaround in it. Yeah. And uh, so that's really kind of cool. Um, last we spoke, I was I was playing with Jeremiah James uh, and The Revival, and... Um, I was the number two guitar player. Then uh, the number one guitar player quit. I became the number one guitar player. It it, it really wasn't a good fit. And uh, they got Bob, the uh, uh, a guy that actually, I think this is the fourth time he's come back now. He's playing. And uh, um, so I'm on the, the short list for if Bob can't make a gig. And I'm, you know, it was fun. It was, it was a really good time. I spent six months playing with those guys and we do stuff like, we rented a suburban and and hauled all our crap to Panama City Beach. So we were in a vehicle for 22 hours together, uh, getting gas every 450 miles. And so we were within 36 inches of each other for a week. Yeah, yeah. And uh, never a raised word. Um, nothing but respect. Yeah. Um, it was just it was a really really terrific experience. Um, loved it. And uh, um, I did some shows with Jillian Smith uh mm -hmm. who is just amazing um of course they're, they're revamping and um me doing this she, she was a judge at thon i don't know if you knew that what was that the, the the cumberland valley thon she was one of the judges oh okay cool yeah so but she, she was she was an alumni there i i played i played in back of her when she was a student and she comes back and she's given all this great advice to she's giving it back giving it back she uh she's the future of country music this girl um she is so talented and she and and sarah sheriff are, are a really 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 cool team and i think we're gonna see really big things from them we're gonna see really big things from them That's wonderful and uh i was lucky enough to do a few shows with them and uh um i i loved it i loved mm -hmm. it in some ways it didn't love it but you know, it, it wasn't the best fit for me because of what I have to do. Um, and, right. and, uh, but I, I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens. Uh, I, I think Jillian's going to take over the world and uh, that's wonderful. She should we be the supporter female president. That's what people of our people of our, we, we should all support her. We, absolutely. She's Jillian, a good, she's a good one. She's one of the good ones. And also she's got stupid amounts of talent and charisma and all that stuff. Show business. Absolutely. Just such a, I, I, rarely do you come across somebody that's where they're doing what they should be doing. Yeah. And that's exactly uh, who she is. And my phone, you can't hear my phone ringing in my ears, yeah. but I, um, so let's see, we talked about that. We talked about this. We talked about that. You got repair seminars. Oh, yes. I have repair seminars coming up um this year. Um, 
uh, I'm going to be doing some stuff at the Dallas Guitar Show. And uh, um, I was down in Dallas to pick up a guitar for a, a friend of mine. I heard, and, I heard that. I heard about that. Yeah. And Jimmy Wallace uh, had the guitar and he runs the Dallas Guitar Show. And he and I talked about me being part of that. And I'm, I'm going to be part of that. It's wonderful. Here. And um, yeah, the guitar we picked up was uh, uh, one of one of my friends bought a 1959 Les Paul Sunburst from Jimmy, and I flew down and retrieved the guitar, and the guitar got its own seat on the airplane, and the two of us came home, and yes. uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was a really good time. Yeah. And, uh, so, uh, um, I will say this: before year end, I will have a Les Paul. Oh man! I'm saying it right now. Yeah, well, I just so, got another one while I was yeah. down there. How many does that make? Uh, enough, one less than I need. Um, while I was down there, they, they had all these guitars, um, hanging on a wall, and I'm walking along, and this one guitar just says, "Hey, Greg," um, and it's in the other room, and it, I'll be away from the camera too long, so I'll just show you a photograph of it. And it's really, I would not have said, hey, you know, it'd be cool. Take a Les Paul and paint it Inverness green. But my God, it's an awesome guitar. Yeah. It stood out from all the cherry sunburst and black and gold guitars, on Les Pauls on the wall. And uh, so there I was buying a, uh, uh, well, picking up a, a, a guitar worth way more than my house. And... I pulled this thing down off the wall and I sat there. I was like, Oh my God, this is going home with me. I have to buy yeah. this. And God bless Jimmy. He, he threw it at me. He, when he said the price, I, it would have been insulting for me to hang it back up on the wall. And, uh, um, once I got it, so how you brought, two, you, you brought two guitars home on that trip. No, 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 no. They shipped it. And, uh, and FedEx lost the guitar. Um, so anybody that saw on my media where I was ranting about FedEx worst, customer service ever yeah. worst customer so you will not let let me get this straight you will not be endorsing fedex well you know what none of the shipping companies are any good yeah but as a result of this i'm not going to ship fedex i'm just right. not going to um yeah. because no matter what it is that you're looking for if you can't find it it's a bad thing and the way they treat you I mean, let's talk about this for a sec. You pay for them to deliver the guitar, and then they say, well, how much is this guitar worth? $4,000. Okay, well, then you pay an additional rate uh, because it's worth $4,000. But then when they can't find it, you say, all right, give me four grand. They go, well, that's we don't have insurance. That's not insurance. That's a value. I can't even remember the term they did, but it, basically it's bull. It's absolute bull. So they were not going to pay me. They said, well, it'll show up. Thank God, a week after it was supposed to be here, it showed up. But worst customer service ever. So, but anyway, I got the guitar. And then um, I work with uh, Jeff Richard at Carondelet Pickups down in New Orleans. And I don't even wine pickups anymore. This guy does it better than I did. And so I put a set of, of uh, Carondelet pickups in it and... It's going to be the Groove Rebels guitar. Um, All righty. And uh, also Reverend gave me a great hookup on a guitar. Um, and I used it at the Christmas show. Uh, and it's just a mind-blowingly good guitar. So uh, when you see Groove Rebels, you might not see any beat up old Les Pauls. You might just see new shiny guitars, at least for a while. You know? Wonderful. Um, so that's, you know, that's kind of what's been going on. Um, I'm sure I left something out. So check this out. Hey, look at that. I remember that guitar. New tuners. How about it? Okay, I didn't know I didn't know what the story was on tuners and, and, and replacement parts on Paul Reed Smith. Well, my old shop, BCR Music, yeah. has them hanging on the wall. So if you need any PRS parts, walk into BCR Music. Like uh like a whammy, like the whammy's falling out, and that's probably the last of the thing. Oh, that's that little set screw. We got to take care of that. We okay. talked about that last time. Next yeah, time yeah. you come up, all right. Um, take me two seconds. Two seconds. All right. All right. So I will. I will make sure. I will. Yeah, make I have sure. a part. Yeah, that's one of those things that I keep around because 
uh, Sarah has a PRS endorsement. So there's, there's a bunch of PRSs upstairs. So I keep yeah. all the little incidentals around yeah, yeah. so that when she has a problem, I can take care of it for her. Yep. 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 And, and the other, other stuff is like my stuff that I'm doing, I'm going to be really going head first into like guitar instruction for people our age getting started. Cool. Cool. So you're going to have to yell. Yes. Yes. People. This is a G chord. Yes. People who remember Angus Young. By the way, I want to point out, Rod, you look terrific. How much weight did you lose? 90, 90 pounds and counting. Awesome. Yes. Right. Kudos to you, sir. You yeah. look terrific. And I'm going to be a dad. I'm not, I'm not dating you, but I, I will now be seen in public with you. All right. Well, that's good. So maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, that makes me feel good. <laughs> you, look, you look great, man. You I've been working, really working it. Really working it. Good. Well, thank you. Believe. What a difference. Yeah. Yep. So you do your Texas thing. So you're going to Texas doing a repair seminar. You got a guitar. Yeah, there. Yeah. Gonna, if you deliver some sort of guitar, there we're gonna. The hope is. Oh well, yeah, we didn't. Yeah, maybe. we. we I, I got waylaid. Um, Six String Ranch in Austin, Texas, is run by a guy named Matt Smith, and I met Matt when he was the yes. demo guy for Hammer and Ovation guitars, and he's a consummate musician, one of the most brilliant guitar players. I'm not, uh, not the guy from Poison. No, not not Matt from Poison. Though I did, <laughs> I, I do see him every now and then. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, Matt, Matt is a great guy and we've been friends for years and he's been trying to get me to do this. So um, he called me uh, right after the NAMM show and he said, look, I got David Grissom on May 18th doing a six hour seminar on Saturday, May 18th. He said, I want you to do a repair seminar on May 19th and we can, the three of us can hang out together. And I said, you know what, I, I'm going to do that. And uh, so uh there you if you go on any of my media it's limited to 15 people it's 100 bucks a head and what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh talk about anything from basic repair uh maintenance of your own guitars and stuff and how to do certain things at home so you you, you don't need to trust somebody else to work on your your guitar and uh um and then what i'm gonna do is every participant is uh encouraged to bring in a, a, a guitar they're having trouble with and um, I will advise them on what I think would be the, the best way to solve that. Right, right. And uh, it's going to be an annual thing. And uh, 100 bucks, three hours of, uh, you know, stupid stories and uh, information. It's going to be a good yeah. time. And, uh, Wonderful. Um, we're going to start seeing me doing those all over the country. Um, Stuart McDonald Guitar Shop Supply is backing me on that. DR Strings. Uh, okay. back in that so it's making it uh possible so maybe even uh we'll do it at uh rod's uh music school sometime. absolutely absolutely i need a local yes. place to do that so right uh, that would be wonderful uh, yeah and uh like i have time to do this but i'm doing it and yeah uh, hey, what did you do it did you, you want to you're not done growing you well and i mean you know there's there's stuff to, there's yeah, cool people don't to do. know where to look when you go to YouTube, you don't know who is going to give you good advice and bad advice. Um, you know, I've, I've been doing this for 50 years and uh, almost 50 years, 48 years. And so, uh, and for those of you at home, I'm 60. And uh, so essentially uh, what I want to do is, is, is just debunk the myths and 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 make it possible for anybody that has one guitar to 100 guitars to maintain their their collection make sure their guitars play well so they're going to have a good time and they're going to make other people happy when they play their guitars that's the whole idea yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah, wonderful wonderful you know what time it is the time where we say everybody should be good to each other yeah don't don't be a jerk don't be a jerk there's enough jerks. Yes, I'm done with the jerks. And you know what? There's a jackass in every room. And if you yes. can't find them, get the, the hell jackass out. jackass is you, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, man. It's always good to talk to you, Rod. Right. Always good to talk to you. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, when you're home from Texas, give me a give – me, we'll, we'll see you around, folks. Maybe, maybe, maybe a part two. So see you, everybody.